So the next speaker we have is Frances Smoots. She is from Germany. She um, is going to talk to us about the an incident with Eva Engelken, and who's in the German Greens, and the latest happenings in Germany. So thank you so much uh, for France. Francis is the WDI country contact for Germany. Thank you so much for coming on, Francis. I'll give you an update on what's happening in Germany. And um, there are three different little stories I'll be talking about. Uh, first is the incident with Eva Engelken at Stern TV and uh, the consequences that followed. So that's Eva. Uh, in Germany, the topic of self-ID has left the social media bubble and is now finally being discussed nationwide. Uh, Eva Engelken, a lawyer and green politician from Mönchengladbach, has made a huge contribution uh, to this and is currently very present in the media, appearing on various TV shows like Stern TV, 13 Questions or Talk im Hangar to explain the legal, uh, legal plan and the risks for women and girls. So on uh, June 29th, Eva Engelken was a guest on Stern TV one of the most influential talk shows on German television. And the topic she was to talk about was transsexuality. Should you be able to change your sex at the registry office without further ado? As an opposing voice, a man named Hannah Corrales, who is a trans activist um, and self-identifies as a woman, was invent uh, invited and went first to tell a story freely and without interruption. That's him. You can have a look on Instagram if you like. Um, he told very emotionally about his feelings that already as a little boy, he wanted to be a girl with long hair and play with the other girls, but was not allowed and um, that self ID must come so others wouldn't have to suffer the way he did. Everyone was quite moved by his story and yeah, clapped diligently. Then um, when Eva Engelken joined the group, the mood was quite subdued and quickly turned hostile from the moment Eva started talking. Um, from then on, um, sweet poor Hannah didn't let her finish one sentence and was supported by the sudden onset of apathy from the moderator and Edith Stiefest, another woman on the panel who kept shouting from the other side and tried to invalidate Eva's position for women's spaces with a total crazy argument that women can be raped anywhere anyway, even in women's spaces. Uh, during the commercial break, and this is the good part, viewers were asked to participate in a poll. The question was, should everyone be allowed to de determine their sex at the registry office? And although Eva barely got through with her arguments, and much to the surprise of the moderator, the following result came out. So 61.3% of um, 14,000 people who participated were against this very clearly. Um, and the moderator also commented on it that this was, um, I believe, the highest uh, participation ever they had with 14,000 people voting. And after the show was over, the tweeting on Twitter began, like always, commenting on all the crap and uh, plus the great poll results. And a day or two later, a comment surfaced from a woman whose overall impression was that the show presented a new kind of witch burning. Uh, she sat in the audience that night and observed how the show was being manipulated by the directors. Um, how every time Hannah said something, a clap sign was held up and not once for Eva and how the host kept smirking while Eva tried to talk during all the interruptions and didn't bother to intervene. He left that to other guests from the panel. And uh, during the commercial break, a woman in, the, in a women's definition t-shirt held up a sign saying no to self-ID 
um, while the host was talking to the group of trust, commenting on the action with demos are being held, but uh, showing no further interest in interacting with any of the gender critical women. And after the show, Eva went up to Hannah and Ezid. I don't know if she wanted to talk to them, but they immediately went away. And um, yeah, as Hannah already stated loudly in the show, with such, you do not discuss. So uh, on the next day, the Green Party of Mönchengladbach published a statement on the, uh, on the appearance of Eva Engelken at Stern TV in which they distanced themselves from her because her statements were allegedly transphobic, inhuman, and humili humiliating. Uh, they therefore are now seeking a party order procedure, I hope that's the right word, uh, which could end with her being excluded from the party. Also, um, she's on a shortlist for a position as a city councillor which in case she moves up, is not allowed to do so as a member of the Greens. So then there was this. On uh, June 1st appeared a guest contribution on Welt, that's a newspaper, um, with the title, How ARD and ZDF indoctrinate our children, written by a group of biologists and physicians. The article criticized public broadcasters for using children's and youth programs to spread transgender ideology. In several dozen programs they had watched for research purposes, for example, um, it was suggested how easy it is to change sex, uh, the gender binary binarity was questioned and puberty blockers were presented as safe, but also um, other topics unsuitable for children were discussed, such as cannibalism or how it is to be raped. Trans though was the permanent topic and critical voices were unwelcome was the conclusion. And it seemed as if the public broadcaster systematically supported the Greens and the F DP's plans for self-ID. They used the guest contribution to call on the public broadcasters to present biological facts and scientific findings truthfully and to turn away from ideological approaches. 120 scientists, physicians, psychologists, pedagogues had already joined the demand by signing the complaint letter. With the ongoing signature campaign, Already lots more followed. So they also presented their 50 page dossier that they had written after watching the many broadcasts, which left them completely shocked after what they had seen. Um, yeah, you can find it there on that uh, web address. Uh, the article in Welt received a lot of media coverage and over. 8,000 people agreed with the article. There were around 2,400 mostly positive comments. And um, again, again, lots of tweeting. But of course, there was a lot of hate and agitation from the queers, which strongly directed uh, against, which was strongly directed against Matthias Döpfner, the CEO of Axel Springer Verlag. Axel Springer is the one who's publishing Welt. So as a reaction to all the hate, he wrote a letter on June 3rd, in which he described the guest commentary as admissible, condescending, and close to the reactionary attitude, describing homosexuality as a disease with which he of course implies a proximity to right-wing ideas. Nevertheless, he writes, diversity of opinion is important, which is why he supports guest commentaries of all sorts. Later on, he complains that the, the Axel Springer publishing house was, uh, has been disinvited from the queer job fair sticks and stones taking place in Berlin, 
even though his company is so LGBTQI, etc. friendly. At the end, he invites Stuart Bruce Cameron, Ulala, la, managing director and organizer of Sticks and Stones Job Fair, to present a detailed counterposition in Welt. On 10th of June, that, that was a week later, an interview with Stuart Cameron was published in which he describes how hateful the article was um, published by the scientists. Um, and that published uh, that it was published during Pride Mo Month of all things. So under these circumstances, Axel Springer may not be present at Sticks and Stones, he said, uh, which starts today, by the way. He also felt he was being accused of being against freedom of opinion. For a counterposition, there was allegedly not enough time, but also such um, form of discrimination was not a basis for a debate, he stated, rejecting the offer. So um, the next story uh, is just a short one and um, yeah, this guy again. So the green politician Marcus Tessa Gansara was invited to a podcast called Splitterfasernackt, which translates into totally naked. And I guess is always held in a sauna. Um, and he once again talks about self ID and um, the mean trans misogynistic women fighting against self ID. And um, I only managed to listen to it for like five minutes. And um, I put this in more, it's more about the pictures and him posing in front of the camera. And uh, he stated he, he was, um, he felt totally unwelcome while visiting a women's sauna in the past. And um, one, one wouldn't think so, the way he um, is presenting his body here, and especially here, uh, plus his accessoires. And it's just, um, well, it's, it's, it's the typical reaction as a male politician pretending to be a woman, a woman. He was celebrated as stunning and brave. And if you just imagine a female politician doing the same, uh, she, she would be waving bye-bye too. To a career. Yeah. 